Tuesday, grade 11. As we move into geometry um, problems now with pictures that can sometimes maybe get a little bit confusing, I would like to give you a few pointers because geometry in a way is very visual. Um, sometimes we just want to dive in and get the answers and work out what X, what X is, what Y is. But essentially with geometry, sometimes it's good to take a step back and have a look what we've got, what we're given, fill in as much as we can on the sketch and then only write down a solution. So I've take, taken an example which you need to, to look at, which is on page 227, exercise 2E, and just show you an approach which might be useful to you. So in this particular question, and all questions, you're given a blurb. So you're given a little bit of a blurb describing the sketch and we need to start by extracting important information from that blurb and then put it on our sketch so it's there. So when we go and answer, it jumps out at us because we've already got an understanding of what is given. So in this question, they tell us O is the center and they also tell us that BTE, BTE is a straight line and A TF is a straight line. Now that essentially doesn't tell us too much, but what tells us a bit more is the fact that we have O is the center. Because immediately if we've got a center, we've got radii, which is very useful. Maybe not in this example, but in other examples, radii, because they're about sausages, triangle, etc. We also look, is there maybe a diameter? Because then it would be 90 degrees, not in this case. But we do have something else. We have an angle at the center and we have an angle at the circumference. Center, circumference. So this angle here would be double that angle there. And it's very useful and use your fingers. Nobody's watching. You can use your fingers because it helps you to see things. So we've got center, circumference. Um, now let's jump into the bigger circle. Now, if we look here, that is not the center. So we can't say that is double that. But what else do we have? We do have cyclic quads. I hope you can see them. Here's our first one. Remember, a cyclic quad is where you have four points on the circumference of the circle. So there's our cyclic quad. And then immediately there's two theorems. So we know that the opposite angles would be supplementary. We also know that the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite. That isn't the only cyclic quad, there's a second cyclic quad. So let's also highlight that. It's very useful to highlight it with highlighters, very colorful. It will jump out at you a lot easier than when you need to go and answer the question. Okay, what else do we have? We don't have a center, ah, but we have angles in the same segment. We have bunny ears or bow tie, whatever you like to call it. There we go, or butterfly. So that angle there is equal to that angle there. Why? Because let's trace it with our fingers. Back to CT, up. Down, up. Similarly, if we look at the angles coming from AB, subtended from AB, we go down here and we go down there. So that would indicate that those two angles there also going to be equal. Down, down. What about that? No, that's not on the circumference and it's not at the center. So there's no relationship between those angles and that one. Well, there is, but not from circle geometry. So now that we've got a better understanding of the sketch, we can go and look at the questions. And the first question is, determine angle T2. So now we think, okay, where's T2? Here is T2 here. But now hang on, that's part of a cyclic quad. So I can see pretty much straight away that that exterior angle there is the exterior of the cyclic quad here. So if that's 70, this is also going to be 70 there. One step. Then let's go and do O1. So now O1 Okay, we've already established that O1 is at the center, so it's double that. How can I find that one? So you look, mm, it's not an exterior angle, no. But hang on, we know that those two are vertically opposite. And that one, can I not find that one somewhere? Ah, oh, yes, if that's 40 here, angles in same segment, that's also 40. 
vertically opposite. That's 40. And that's double. Okay, so I've moved quickly, but I'm hoping you've seen it already. So let's go back. You've got angles in same segment, 40, 40. Vertically opposite, 40, 40. Double. Ah, oh, that means this here is 80. Now, I haven't written anything down yet, but I've seen it. I've got my solution. It's all here. Now it makes it a lot easier to go and write it down. And that's where um, you can continue. I'll write it out as a memo, but just it's visual. Use color. Highlight your diameters, your cyclic quotes, all the different things that we're going to work with because we're going to move on to tangents and then they're going to be even more. There's going to be even more information. So, good luck. Enjoy it. This is a wonderful section. So visual, so practical. Use color. Enjoy it. Thank you.